What is up, everyone? Today, we have an epic double unboxing from Takara Tomy. Today, we will be unboxing the B33 Stadium from Takara Tomy as well as Vanish Fafnir. That driver is no joke. The moment they just hover over each other. Now, before we get going with this video, do be sure that you ring out that like button and you burst that subscribe button. Now, let's get down to business. We're going to start out by unboxing Vanished Fafnir. Now, I've been truly excited because I have heard so many great things about the Takara Tomy's Vanished Fafnir over all of the Hasbro's Fafnir line. Aside from Guilty Long and his Vanished Fafnir was the second most recommended bay for me to get. So let's waste no more time. Let's check out Vanished Fafnir from Takara Tomy. So Vanished Fafnir has a tapered disc as well as the kick driver. Now, what I'm excited about is the Vanish Fafnir, I've been told, has nothing but a pure rubber energy layer. And that is the thing I am most excited for. So let's unbox him and let's check him out for ourselves. And there it is, Vanish Fafnir from Takara Tomy. I like how it comes with an extra energy ring and attack ring to switch things up. Yes, that is rubber for sure. That is awesome. It is not hard plastic or anything. That is just solid rubber. And I like the stickers just as always, especially with the Pro Series from Hasbro. The stickers are part of my favorite thing when it comes to any of these Beyblades. Being able to customize it the way I want it to be customized. Now I am partial to having them naked, meaning no stickers. For me, it just makes them look awesome. So let's look at Vanish Fafnir. So here is the energy ring. This is your Vanish Fafnir from Takara Tomy. The weight that it has on this is just mind blowing. This thing is heavy compared to the Hasbro's. I would say just like Guilty Longinus and Guilty Luinor, the energy layer alone weighs just as much as the entire assembled bay from Hasbro. And this is your tapered disc. Very similar, again, to the Hasbro's Vanished Fafnir from Beyblade Burst Quad Drive. But just like Guilty Longinus, it does have a substantial more weight added to it. It is a lot heavier than the Beyblade Burst Quad Drive's Vanished Fafnir from Hasbro. And here is your kick. This is your kick driver. I do love that. I'm excited to see that in action and to see how well it makes him perform. Now let's get this thing put together and let's just see the fully assembled Vanish Fafnir from Takara Tomy. And here it is, Vanish Fafnir from Takara Tomy. This bay is heavy and a monster. I am loving this hands down. This is way better than the Hasbro's version of Vanish Fafnir. Now let's just do a side-by-side -side comparison to the Hasbro's Fafnir. And there we go. These are, this is your Hasbro's Vanish Fafnir from the Beyblade Burst Quad Drive. Now you can see it is very, he is very light in comparison to Takara Tomy's. You can see the difference. They got the design correct. However, unlike the Takara Tomy's version, Hasbro has no rubber on Vanish Fafnir whatsoever. There's their version of the kick, and there's the real version. The disc is all the same. And again, right here, your gravity ring for Hasbro is just nothing but plastic, whereas your Takara Tomy is a solid metal right in there for you guys. 
All right, now let's set Fafnir aside. And let's get to the second part of this epic double unboxing. Now, this is my first ever Takeratomi Bay Stadium. It was a definite hard choice on figuring out which stadium to get. There were so many awesome looking stadiums. Now, the stadium that I did end up choosing was the B33. The standard black stadium from Takeratomi. So let's just unbox it and let's just piece this bad boy together. And then let's just compare it to another stadium from Hasbro. So just comparing it right now with the Hasbro. It actually has a gloss to it, so I apologize. I am going to dim down these lights so we can get a better look at it. I remember when I first saw your face and how everything changed that day. I remember trying hard to ignore the signs, but I couldn't and I didn't know why. I remember when I ran so old far like speed. Now it still is a bit glary. And now I'm sure things will change definitely with it as the battles ensue and the stadium does get banged up a little bit. But I do like it. I do like how thick the plastic is. However, I do believe Hasbro does make much better stadiums than Takeratomi. Takeratomi just has your classic, your nostalgia when it comes to the Bay Stadiums. So let's get the pieces put in. Let's get this thing fully assembled. And let's just give our banished Fafnir a test spin within. And there we go, the B33 standard base stadium for Takeratomi. I do love how in a lot of videos I see on YouTube, I do actually prefer the triple pockets. I do like these pockets a lot better than the pockets when it comes to Hasbro. Because it's easier just to get the bays out rather than having to try to dig your hand in there to try to reach them. Now let's just do a side by side comparison of the standard circle stadium from Takeratomi. We'll put it up with the Pro Series Stadium, which is the best type of Hasbro stadium, in my opinion. And there we go, the side-by-side -side comparison. They are the same size, just about. It does look like the Takeratomi one is more circular. And your Pro Series does look a lot more ovalish in comparison. Now let's just look at the grooves, the grooves. Your Pro Series, your Hasbro grooves right there, and the inner ring is a lot deeper, meaning it'll be able to catch the bays a lot better than the Takeratomi. Now the slope is a lot smoother. This stadium is a lot smoother, and the plastic does look and feel a lot stronger than the Pro Series and any of the Hasbro stadiums so far. All right, now I know you're just as excited as I am, but let's give Vanish Fafnir from Takeratomi a good test spin in the new B33 Stadium from Takeratomi. This is just clean. And just like always, the B203 launchers do launch so smooth. And that bay has some massive weight to it. That is for sure. Now, let's waste no more time. Let's get Vanished Fafnir tested out in some battles. We're going to put him up against a few of the Pro Series bays, as well as our Guilty Longinus from Takeratomi. And then we will do a comparison between the Hasbro's Vanished Fafnir and the Takeratomi's Vanished Fafnir. All right, to kick things off, we'll put our Vanished Fafnir for Takeratomi up against Lord Spryzen with the Pro Series. That rubber is no joke in comparison to anything that the Pro Series or Hasbro has to offer. It is just absorbing those attacks, completely rendering Lord Spryzen useless. That was awesome. Let's put Vanish Factor now up against a stronger and a heavier hitting bay. We'll put him up against Svi Luinor with the Pro Series. And again, that rubber is just epic. I do love how that rubber just absorbs all the attack power. 
And just like that, he does just take out Spy Luanor. Now, I do want to give Spy Luanor another round up against Vanish Fafnir. And just pay attention to how the driver works. That kick driver with Vanish Fafnir. That driver is no joke. The moment that Vanish Fafnir gets out of the center and starts to go an angle, that driver causes it to roll, move, and to deliver an actual powerful counter attack. All right, now let's put Vanish Fafnir up against the Pro Series Sword Valtriac. And I do love this stadium. This stadium is actually awesome. The bays fly around and they, they are just so smooth in there. And just look at Vanish Fafnir hold that ground. It doesn't even look like Valtrek is even phasing Fafnir in the slightest. You just see how quickly that driver from Fafnir shoves it right back to the center of that ring. Now let's give those two one more shot as well. And there they go. And there's the collisions that we are wanting to see. Fafnir just bounces all those attacks away from it. It does take a beating. But the beatings just don't even face him. And just like that. Alright, now we'll put Vanish Fafnir up against Venom Devilos with the Pro Series. Venom Devils is a lot heavier hitter than Valtriac, that is for sure. So we'll see how well the stamina type from Fafnir does against the powerful attacks with Venom Devilos. Just like Fafnir, he just takes those hits, absorbing all the attacks. He just renders Venom Devilos useless. All right, let's give those two one more round before we move on to the next battle. There's that rubber just absorbing all the attack power from Venom Devilos. All right, now here's a true test of whose rubber is actually going to be stronger. We're going to put our Vanish Fafnir up against the Wizard Fafnir from the Pro Series. Now, Wizard Fafnir does have a killer rubber energy layer just like Vanish Fafnir, but we'll see which one does reign supreme. They just hover over each other. It does look like Vanish Factor is a lost and Yes, he is. Vanish Factor is a lot stronger. That rubber is sucking out more of the power from the Wizard Factor than Wizard Factor is from Vanish Factor. And now let's put Wizard Factor up against the Takeratomi Guilty Longinus. And there they go. And wow, that was just a powerful attack with Guilty Longinus. Now this is a Bay Battle. And just like that, Fafnir is just down. Now let's do it, give those guys one more show so you guys can see the true power behind these two powerful Takeratomi Bays. And there they go. Kick Driver does keep Fafnir in the center a lot better than the others. And just like that, he actually takes out Guilty Longinus, completely sucking up all that power with that rubber. And now, let's put Vanish Fafnir from Takeratomi up against the Vanish Fafnir from the Beyblade Burst Quad Drive from Hasbro. And there they go, Rubber Burst Plastic. Both bases extremely identical, but you can easily tell which one is more powerful. Just like that, the Hasbro's is out with no power whatsoever behind it. And there you guys have it. Vanish Fafnir from Takeratomi, as well 
as the B-33 Bay Stadium for Takeratomi. This bay is absolutely epic. I do love it. I do love the rubber energy layer and just how heavy and powerful this bay actually is in comparison to Hasbro's version of Banish Fafnir from the Quad Drive. Now you can easily tell that the rubber from Takeratomi is a lot better than the rubber from Hasbro with the Wizard Fafnir in comparison to Banish Fafnir. Now as for the stadium, I love the stadium. Simple as that. I am not a big fan of just how glossy it is, I'm not gonna lie. It does mess with the lights a little bit, make it a little bit more difficult to see. However, the stadium is just solid. The stadium is solid, that plastic is heavy, it's thick. The stadium's not bouncing around as much. I do prefer these pockets over the pockets from the Pro Series or any of the Hasbro Bay stadiums, as for certain. Now, leave a comment in the comment section below of what you think of Vanish Fafnir and the B-33 Bay Stadium from Takeratomi. And like always, have yourselves a great night.